Hello. Welcome back, friends. We crashed last night, so we gotta get right back to it. But we're gonna... I decided to do this on the stream because, A, I ran out of time today. And, B, we have some stuff to do. Namely, we're going to be trying to get some enemy skill. And by way of... Mantra missiles, I believe it's called. Mantra magic. Mantra magic. <laughs> One of those. No! Ow. Oh, we have fire, right? My fire means fire on all. I don't believe these guys are weak to fire. Uh, but yeah, Corviknight is sick. Lulu is absolutely adorable. I love the, the new designs, and I'm um, looking forward especially to third-person camera. Hello. And the return of overworld Pokemon spritz. It's sick. Like I was saying, like it's a big, big change to the flow of the game. Like it's, it, it looks cosmetic, but it is so impactful to how the game performs. Uh, yes. I do. So somewhere in this region, there's a monster we fought last night. Uh, it's like these demon cars. And they are going to be casting the thing we're looking for. It's not the demon motorcycles. It's the demon cars. Oh, -ho, sampling, huh? Wait, well, I, I didn't see what it was. Uh, was it limit? Was it limit break? Was it a limit upgrade? I think that was, that was the limit upgrade sound. I, I, what happened? What leveled? I didn't, I, why did I click? Oh, I only... I don't know what leveled, guys. I think a lot of like corniness just depends on delivery and if you can pull it off. So I think you got you gotta try it out if you like it and see how it goes. Why are we giving that tip about turning around is a uh, great great call. I gotta be honest, I, I like the little beeping and healing wind. It's pretty good. This guy got hit by Tifa's limit break, so this, this guy should be pretty much dead. Oh, was it the other one? Uh... No? That was in the flashback. And she didn't then either. Cause her dad, her dad got like a mega Sephiroth. No, oh, R.I.P. Then she rushed out to join Cloud. Where are the, where are the motor boys? I don't have like an hour here farming, so I, I don't want to, you know, rush. I don't want to like, you know, spend too much time doing this, but. I figure leveling isn't terrible anyway. I don't know how, if this game really wants us to be grinding.
so it's a little unclear. Like, there's a lot of JRPGs, you know, with, like, with my experience, limited as it may be. Um, I know there's some games that really want you to grind a lot, and some games that you kind of you can kind of just play. Okay, word. There were a couple of fights we had earlier that I felt a little bit like, well, this damage seems high. I figure it's probably not, especially if we do a bunch of optional quests. The other reason I'm doing the, uh, I'm looking at a guy, I was talking to a friend last night who said that there's some, like, like ultimate final weapon quests that are really the same type of, like, multi-stage nonsense we've been going through so far. Uh, and that are probably pretty easy to mess up or miss if we are not looking for them. So I want to make sure, I know that's not happening for a while yet, but we're going to want to keep an eye out for those, so... I'm going to be peeking at a guide now and then to make sure we're not missing anything big. I think so, at least. If you guys think that's not the kid, that's a bad idea, let me know. But it just, from what I've been hearing from y'all in the chat and everything so far, like, this is a game that seems to benefit a lot from having a guide. Because <laughs> there's just so much going on that is not apparent at first glance. Especially with stuff like, like, you know, super optional... HP plus material, okay. Very optional stuff happening. Um, okay. HP plus, unavailable, available, because available, okay. 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 That is good to know, for sure. All the better to get started with it, um, because I, I, I need, hold on, this is still, I keep forgetting to look this up, like, top JRPGs of all time, of all time, because I feel like I, I'm like, I've clearly, like, it's a, it's a genre that I, I feel like I like, I, I feel like I sh I have played some of these, but I don't think I actually have. Crown Trigger we did, we did that one. Um, like, I think I've maybe just heard of and tried and thought about some more than anything else. I... Maybe I haven't played as many JRPGs as I thought I have. Oh, good. Thank you, Chrome. I've played Pokemon. That counts. And we just played Fire Emblem, but that's a tactics game. Doesn't really, doesn't really count, I would say. So, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like a weird feeling. Undertale, look. I mean, this is definitely JRPG adjacent. But, uh... Hey, here we go. Okay. So we want to... Custom sweeper. So they have to attack us with. They have, they have to attack Tifa with Matra missiles. Okay. We gotta back off a little bit now. The survive as well. Okay. Hey, okay. We, we, we did the thing. Alright, great. Uh, except for defense. Defends. Okay. So this is, like, this is one of those mechanics that, like, I just, you know, like, how are you... Like, we're even in this fight, and how would you- how would you even know? And the answer is you wouldn't really. It would have to just sort of happen. There we go, Matra Map. Now, does that have to hit Tifa, or can it- oh, it did hit Tifa. Hey, okay, good. Oh, damn.
So that's cool. But like, so uh, it's one, like it's one of those things that I like playing games blind whenever possible. And I'm not gonna look at a guide through like the flashback segments, but stuff like this, I don't know. It's like we wouldn't have known them. That's like a cool thing. It's not like a thing that I like. like, like that's cool. I don't know. E skill acquired. And there's also just like some nonsense. Like apparently at the Chocobo farm, the one we responded to by saying Wark with three R's, if we had said the Wark with one R instead, we would have gotten a materia for that. Like, really? <laughs> and wait, what's up? It's good to see you again. So I don't want to like stick to the guide super intently, but I'm gonna try to maybe read up a little bit in between streams more than anything else. Just to be a little bit aware of, like, stuff we're gonna see. It's tough, it's tough. Because I know people really, really, really like... Oh, that was a level up for Aerith earlier, not a, anything else. I know people love seeing, like, totally blind playthroughs and stuff, and I totally get why that's super entertaining. Um, there's a lot of value to it. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like we get a lot out of this game by just, you know, knowing what's up a little bit. Because some of these things are just so completely ridiculous to, to know ahead of time. But I don't know. So anyway, guys, just let me know what you think as we uh, go through this, because if we plan to play more JRPGs after this, we want to have a good flow for it, so. We can always do a case-by-case, case, right? Like, if there's... Oh, we should try Matcha Missiles. Or Matcha Magic, sorry. Wait. E-Skill. It's AoE. My guess is high base damage, bad scaling? From what I heard about it at least last night? No, hold on, we want to avoid these for now, because we don't want to actually fight the chocobos until we have the chocobo grass. Okay. Here we go. Actually, hold on, before we do that, something else apparently can mess us up. The hot tub, I don't believe I did. Work. Work. But that... The two in the back fused! They've become the Omega Chocobo. Oh my god. That's an advanced technique. This is majestic. We've been treated to a true show of nature. Received Chocomog materia. What does that do? Well, this guide I'm reading said to not buy the earth and heal materia, so clearly it's wrong. Summons Chocomog. I mean, like, what? <laughs> I'm not going to try it now. What is that? <laughs> Yeah. Get yeah, Chocobo. Alright. Cool. Mega Omega Zolom. It's the serpent that was attacking us. That will... It's... I'm happy with heal. I wanted it around. It seems useful. But... What do I know? Look, we're gonna we're gonna reject the FF7 meta in favor of no, we're not because 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 Mat, Matra missiles is good. Chocobo, uh, yes. The old folks are out of luck. Old folks, old folks, huh? Okay, go and catch one, right? 
Not interested. Yes. Okay. Buy it. Material, yes. That's totally, totally fair. Some greens? Okay. That That is very, very helpful to know. So I want to say... We, um... Um, hold on. Chocobo farm. Uh, so there's like this descriptions of the uh, of the mats of the items here. So that's one of the grassy that real quick. Okay, so this is confusing. So this keeps the chocobo occupied for two turns. This keeps the chocobo occupied, occupied for five turns. This, uh, wait, no. This so this is two turns. This is chance of running away to 33% each turn. This is occupied for three turns. 20% chance to run away. Five turns. And then occupied for one turn, but also lets it use a, a special skill that you can lose that you can learn through an enemy skill called Choco Buckle. Choco Bull Buckle, sorry, excuse me. Choco Buckle, um. And yeah, I think so. End of brief. Um, we have to find a chocobo whose level is divisible by four and give it some mimet or fancier greens. The character with the enemy skill material card must cast L4 Suicide, which can be obtained from the moose in the area, or moose maybe in the area near the chocobo farm. After being hit, the chocobo will cast Chocobuckle and flee. Like, what? What? I I don't whatever. Like squares really 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 doing it. Really out here. Okay. Gotta equip the chocolate boulder. And then head to the chocobo tracks. To find a chocobo. What? What? What are those? Fourteen? Oh my god. Oh, here's the move. Mew? Move? So they give us L4 suicide, huh? What? What? what you, excuse me? Anyway, I'm going to try to do a, as, as well as I can in terms of straddling the line of, of using a guide to make sure we know what's going on in the game and also, but also not going in too hard because then we're going to, you know, not have any, any surprises, so. I'll try, like I said, I'm going to try to check in on it, like, if we go to the field for a little bit to double check to make sure we didn't miss anything big after story segments or if we get totally stuck or if you guys tell me to, to look up something, so. That's what I'm going to lean with for now. So right now we know what we, what we know. We're... Let's go. It's time. A choker bus here. Oh, right. That thing's a uh, weak to... Oh, no. Okay. I was right. 
the uh, plant thing is weak to physical attacks, but not to magic. I don't know who we attack with limits, so I managed to defend, I guess. That's that's what I'm saying, like like what? No 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 Damn it. Cause like having it like having it as it stands is already a little bit bizarre. Like you have to have found L4 suicide by now, and then cast it on a chocobo after giving it the highest level of grass, which is like very specific as it stands. On the one turn to occupied, mind you. Beyond that, though, you have to have its level as a multiple of four, which means it's only going to happen one out of four times. I'm sure, or what? How? Or was it? I guess it would vary depending on the level range. But huh? Like. So we just got to attack. That's some damage. Oh no. Tifa will eventually get there with the uh the base damage, or she won't. One of the two. <laughs> we'll try to go for one more chocobo in this patch, and then we'll switch to another one if we can. Hey! The track is just so good. Points of attack. Okay, so we're in Ball's preemptive attack. We really gotta do this. No, I too slow. Tifa. I mean, Aerith. Oh, boy. Okay, well. Oh. Oh. Okay. It was so easy last night. I had, like, a really easy enemy group. Got through it real quick. Like a one and done thing. We've now tried twice. We can just buy fancier greens too. Make it easier. But yeah, I really do wish I I knew and do with like what was going on with stuff like that because it, it happens in a lot of games like from soft games there are some quest lines that have such specific conditions that it is very hard to understand how people got there and part of that is excuse me hello don't don't oh. If I hadn't crit Tifa, instead of whatever. <laughs> the cursor is a little jumpy. I want to say with the squirrels? Did we get it from the, the muse? Or moose? Oh, we gotta get more grass. Some of the, uh, the, the dank stuff from our supplier here. Yeah. See, that was some, some top-tier humor there, if you, uh, you know. Anyway. We're gonna buy... So, which one is which again? I do wish it would tell you, but we're just gonna have to figure it out. Uh, let's... The ten tall greens are three turns. This one, though, is... Should, should work. It's RNG-based, though. <laughs> A little cheaper, I'll give it a shot.
Oops. I actually don't. No. For, for finding the mobs, honestly, this is fine. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, we, I don't want to abuse the X3 because, like, it's, you know, it's kind of just be the. But I think for stuff like this. Oh, uh, which one's which? We still haven't even seen the we've only seen the squirrels like once. We still haven't seen them do their their their, their thing. So we should now the chocobo will now have a um, a thirty three percent. And who did? A, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I gotta be careful about the cursor. It's like I said, it's very jumpy. Okay, we almost had him too. We're so close to greatness. Okay, but yeah, I think the find encounters like this, if we're trying to grind out encounters of some kind, I think this is a great time to use the X3. Okay, we'll get him this time. We'll get him a choker boat. Make sure we're clicking in the exact right place. Be very careful where we click. <laughs> why did- that's why I cloud attacked Tifa that one time. What the heck though? Why is that like even an option? <laughs> Finally! We got a chocobo, I'm so happy. Okay. Okay. Hey, This music is so unbelievably good still. Okay, we don't want to run into you. Explore for like a half sec. Alright. This is the entrance of the cave, I guess. This gruesome thing again. Did Sephiroth do this? Our enemy is someone that could do this? Amazing. Oh, I'm gonna check out one other thing real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm about to calm real quick, because. You gotta. Also, apparently we can recruit Yuffie now. Sephiroth, yeah. And like 500 M, something like, it was like 500, it was some ridiculous amount of MP, and he was doing like 3k hits. Uh, like, insanity. So guys, Chrome is eating me alive a little bit here for opening tabs. Trying to close some stuff, but OBS likes eating up almost all of my uh, CPU. So, yeah. We'll worry about Yuffie later. I'm, I'm happy doing this. Oh, what? The people we talked to in that building give dating points? Oh my god, whatever. This is... this is nonsense. Okay, give me one sec. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm gonna do my best to not do that in the future. But sometimes I just want to make sure we're not missing stuff, so... Alright, get this mount here. This is what we did last night. Bye, Chocobo. This time we're gonna save! We we're trying to leave the Mutual Cave to, cave to save last night. We just... Couldn't. Is it... It crashed. Right, 
right, we had this. We know to put this on. Guess we'll start to have our chocobo lore for now. I don't know what upgrading it does, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, I guess. There might have been like an ether up here too, I want to say. So the flying boy, I believe, is weak to fire. Let's, let's summon Choco Mob. I'm trying to see Choco Mob. Here we go. Mog is a Moogle. Excuse me? It did like 200, it did like 300 AoE damage. Oh, that heals, right? Whoops. We have to have Tifa get hit by that. May as well do it now. The summons are good. Wow. Like I said, I played, uh... Um... Whoops. I played Golden Sun when I was younger. Once her battle, it looks like. Remember summons being very cool in that game. Why is it always clogged? I haven't played it in so long. I, I, I remember next to nothing about it. There we go. I'm sorry, Tifa, but... Had to be done. Get some revenge here. Uh, the what now? The, the what? The, the blade beam? Diffuse after hitting one opponent? Like, does it break up into AoE, I guess? Wasn't either. And tense, okay. We have to try it. So, so can we now overcharge it to limit level 2? I'm guessing we can. Let's see what we'll see what happens with Cloud now. So I don't quite get it. Guess we'll just try to use a limit and see what happens. I see, okay, okay. Oh, point zero means that it'll just reset our current gauge. Oh, thank you. Did not understand that. I thought it meant we had to, like, redo our skills for, like, like last time I, I, I read that tooltip, I was like, we have to reset our limit skills to change limit skills? That's weird. That makes a lot more sense. Thank you. Okay, cool. Well, now we're way better equipped than last time, so... Oh, we should have used a tent or something. Five. Nice. Oof. Oh, whatever. I, well, I figured out which uh, element this is. There's a mischance. Whoa! 
Owl summons had long cousins, which are unskippable, which are called quad magic, which cast a link interior four times to MP of one cat. Oh my god. I'm also just in in shock that this gem linking system with like support gems that modify the effects of and like the way a spell is cast is in this game because I thought like I, I was like man PoE really pushed that system pretty hard but like a lot of that's in this game and I had never thought to connect this to PoE. That sounds amazing but also painful to watch all the summons try to resolve but also very very cool. Gotta meet up with, with the uh, the doofus crew here. Just a second. We saw this last night, but... By any chance, are you... Do you know who I am? The Turks, right? Well, if you know, this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not that all there is to it anymore. Sir. It's all right, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Then explain, Elena. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks for what you budgeted to Reno. We're shorthanded. It's really good, yeah. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. And anyhow, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed. And try and stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute, something around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. Elena, you talk too much. Mr. Seng! No need to tell them about our orders. Oh, sorry, Seng. I thought I gave your orders. Now go. Don't forget to file your report. Oh, great. Very well. Rude and I will go up to Sephiroth. He's heading for Junon Harbor. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir. I love how they just like start climbing. That's a great question. They maybe maybe. Rita said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Sorry, Rina. Well then. Aerith, long time no see. It's like you're safe from the Shinra for a while, now that Sephiroth reappeared. What are you saying? I should be grateful to Sephiroth? No. I won't be seeing much of you, so take care. Strange hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way. Okay. Seed elixir. Received high potion. Excellent. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't know if that's a uh, make of energy or not, but it was glowy. So is it worth it using fire here still? I think given that the enemy's not attacked yet, yes. I don't know if we need Choco Mob. Oh, well, the enemy skill. So I don't know if Mantra Magic is a fire skill or not. We'll find out, I guess. Yikes. 172. It is not a fire skill. Wow. That is a lot of damage. Enemy skill, folks. Enemy skill. It gets there. It's all leveled up. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so that means... So what is so? That should mean we can use two casts of it now, right? Yes. So we need 4489 for the next level.
Hey, cool. We made it, folks. Wow, I thought there was gonna be like more of a cave, so that's why I cut it off last night. Hey, Juno, hey, that's where we're going. We gotta go to Juno Harbor. We don't know where that is, but we'll figure it out. This is exciting. What is it again? Is it options? Yeah. Like a mountain range in the center that we can't get past? What are these? Oh, no, they're bad. Only cost eight, too. Eight's not nothing, but... How much damage it does, given regular spells cost like four, right? Pretty dang good. We should probably use a tent. Given how either is restored MP by 100. Ah, actually, no. We just a couple either's. We don't have much MP yet, thankfully. So we don't quite know how this works yet. Like, I don't know if there's like a separate forest tile set or what. What in the heck is this? Zimzelet. Against winds. Out in the street. It's... Oh, it wasn't- I thought it was like a mini-boss. It was gigantic! Whoa! Alright, let's quickly heal up, uh... No... I don't want to spend all my MP right this second. Literally, really, but given how cheap eaters are compared to... How much MP we have, it's probably worth it just to use eaters on Aerith and keep spamming Cure. Oh. This a forest? Yes, okay. It's actual physical forest tiles. Hold up a second. Wait, that's is that wait, no, no, I play Kingdom Hearts. Wait, wait, is that Wait, wait, wait. Is that you, Fee? Do we fight? Are we supposed to fight? I don't know what to do. I thought we I thought we had to like go somewhere to meet her. Um do we That's where the dancing frog is from? Oh my god, my mind's blown right now. There's a lot to process. Um, what do I do? I don't... I don't know what to do about Yuffie. Um, hold on. Out of seven, how to recruit Yuffie. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, we have to just defeat her. Okay, okay, okay. Blade beam. Here we go. Oh. Did the 600 damage. That was pretty good. Okay. Oh, hey, okay. Save point might screw this up. <laughs> I 
do not use the save point because she will run away. I, it's, it's, man, I can't believe I lost. I'm going to have to respond very specific. Whatever. You spiky headed jerk. One more time. Let's go one more time. Not interested. Think I'd run away? Stay and fight. Fight, I said. Come what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. Huh. Just as I thought, what do you expect of my skills? What's you guys, too? You can go another round. Later. I'm gonna leave, I mean it. Wait a second. What is he, still something for me? Hmm, so is that it? I know you have my help because I'm so good. Want me, to go, want me to go with you? That's right. <laughs> I thought so. You put me in a spot. Well, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. All right, I'll go with you. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Wait, I haven't even told you my name. It's Yuffie. Sure, you can join us. I'm Yuffie. Good to meet you. Hey, well, I'm glad we... <laughs> Just as I planned. All I have to do is a little of this and a little of that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait up. Wait for me. Okay, so I, I would have messed that up. <laughs> So, uh, geez. Okay. Give me a sec. 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 So, uh, I think she probably runs away if you. If, if we answer any of those questions. Like, what? I don't know. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. So how do we use... Oh, that's front row, back row. Also, so you should have long range. Sorry for all the confusing stuff, guys. I wonder if also we should be leveling our party a little more evenly. It's hard to tell. I don't like it's I don't I know some I know we can always grind our way through it, thankfully. Like this isn't like fire emblem where we be very careful with how we level because we can't grind. But I don't know what it was be better to Um so I see a couple dots down here. I don't know which one's the one we're supposed to go to. We're in the Junon Harbor, which I believe is this one. Because it's on the coast. We should get not quite. We should we should get two cures now, right? I'm sorry, two AOE cures. My bad. Nice. What the heck is going on here? Got seal evil? What the heck is that? I assume, I assume because those are probably our seventh limit, so. 
constrains and stop the magic of all opponents. Whoa! Big yeah, we debuff. Um, so I was gonna say we should probably go to the harbor right away, but maybe we shouldn't go to the harbor right away? What the heck is this? I'm gonna save real quick. If we go to mess with our party a little bit, I don't quite know what, what makes the most sense. Uh, we could try Yuffie. Whoa, hi. You've been fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. You've still settled in for a long war with them. Could you spend some time help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, so if you're busy with something, why don't you finish that first? Okay. Where is Junon? North along the coast, keep going a ways to run to Junon. Be alert, because it's in the shadow of a, of a small hill. Okay. So we're going to fight the Shinra here later. But not quite yet. Okay, so this is... Oh, I see, I see. This is island. Wow, this world is gigantic. Oh, it's time for monster missiles, I think. So hilariously strong. Oh, that was long range. Cool. Nice. Okay. Apologies. It's gonna be another another slightly early night, guys. I do apologize for that. I would love to not be this tired, but just just slowly but surely working on my schedule because it is it's a process. We should probably kill all of them. Monster Magic Menial kills the front row. Damn. Damn. It's so good. So yeah, I don't know if anybody has... I don't know if it's helpful to, for me to ask for advice about party comps. I just don't understand what the roles are yet, I guess. Because, like, I, I guess I'm kind of used to... Um, characters with pretty defined roles. Like, Aerith I get is a healer. She's got a healing limit... It makes sense. She's a healer. That I that I understand. Um, I don't quite get the difference between Tifa, like Barrett's range versus Tifa's not, but I don't understand if that matters that much given how Materia works. I don't get Red 13's niche. I don't know how like the stat spreads work and stuff like that. There's just so many stats that are to me unexplained. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know what Yuffie's deal is. Could, like just like put Yuffie in the party and see what happens. Check status. Okay. Four point shuriken, carbon bangle, accessory. Wow. This seems actually. She has her stats are. Oops. My response. She, if she has a shuriken, that's probably ranged, right? What's her defense? 54. Wow. Attack percentage, maybe the hit chance? Is that defense. Per, like, is that percentage? Or like, is that like a percent. Multiplier or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A uh, pretty solid in people of 117. Uh, strength higher than Tifa's. One level higher as well. A higher magic, higher spirit, higher. Her stats are just way higher. This was throw. Equips the throw commands. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just try this and see what happens. Having no Aerith is, like, very bad for us, though, is the problem. Like, someone's gotta have a heal.
Oops. Gotta level the alls at all times. Don't want to forget the rule already. Already. <laughs> uh, nice. All this field music's good. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see how Yuffie does in battle. Okay. Throw. Oh, oh, we're throwing items. Nice. Nice at the crit. It's an uh, easy kill there. Oh, hold on. I just checked real quick. So what the heck does back row do? Uh, back row characters get attacked a lot, so it looks like. And long range attacks take no reduction in damage from the back row, but get attacked less. Okay, it sounds like that's really about it. Fernand, hello! How are you tonight? Thanks for coming by. Thanks for dropping out the raid, folks. And of course, if you guys don't follow on Trenon's stream, go check out Trenon's stream. It's really good. We've got PoE coming out tomorrow. So go go check it out. Trenon, how are you doing? What is the crackling? That wasn't a kill. I'm a fool. He really does 90 damage? Okay. That is totally fair. Might be on my end. I'm not sure. If he does damage... Let me see what our limit was. Weapon after cutting them? It's not an attack. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's check, so, uh, ye olde guidance materials are suggesting that I steal from the, the birds. Oh yeah, I bet, like, this is, there's just a lot going on. Let's see, materia, do we have steel equipped? We do, okay. What's up, Blake? He's such a small boy. Okay, so this is we don't need this. This is not how we're looking for. This should just kill. I don't know if Yuffie's gonna be I mean that's the same amount of healing that we did with Aerith, right? So that seems fine. Doesn't have healing wind, but. I'm glad, I'm glad we got that, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be long regardless, because there's, um... My guess would be... Oh, right. I did it again. Can't reach. I'm sorry. Oh, we have Yuffie here, right? Um... Wait, what? I confused. I was saying um, that I'm sure the speedrun time is affected heavily by just text, because I'm sure there's not a lot of ways to skip certain major stories. I know that I'm sure there's sequence breaks, but I'm sure they can't skip everything, which means that you have a lot of just, like, waiting for text. And that's going to be just a huge amount of time in a run like this. 
And also cutscenes if you can't skip those. So I believe you can't skip all of those. How are we doing on HP? Tifa's fine. Nah, it's a little... A little dicey. So we're looking for purple burb. Again, I don't know if we're going to use Yuffie, but may as well. Fair. Yeah. For sure. It's a it's a big one. 